Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. In this f***ed up world we're currently living in, I feel the only thing I can do now is become a felon. So naturally, I looked up what it takes to become a felon. And turns out, I need to not shave, talk tough, embrace the cold, and not return anything I borrow. But I also feel like there's something else I'm missing, and I can't put my finger on it. Life of Crime is the episode where Spongebob and Patrick steal a balloon and think they're criminals without realizing they stole it on free balloon day. Like pre-hibernation week, this episode aired on May 5th, 2001 and is the episode where Patrick acknowledges a two-dimensional shape. Rectangles! This episode is also the first time Spongebob and or Patrick are in jail, which unironically becomes a recurring theme throughout the series. Sure, they're only in jail for like, what, two seconds, but it still counts, so shut up. No! This episode touches on Mr. Krabs' questionable actions, in this case, seemingly stealing things and covering it up with a borrowing excuse. While we don't see a whole lot of actions like this before this episode, he will clearly do many illegal actions in the future, and you can argue that it started with this episode. However, his first role as the true antagonist was episode 34, ARG, from season 1. But with that episode, that's the entire plot, and he does get his comeuppance that time. This isn't an antagonistic role per se, it's more so just questionable advice and Spongebob and Patrick being naive and not realizing the truth behind the matter. And after claiming the stuff was borrowed, it seems like these actions become more common than they should be in the future. But of course that doesn't really matter. So let's watch this episode and see what Free Balloon Day is like in Bikini Bottom. So the episode starts up and Spongebob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs are watching Crustacean Crime Theater. This episode being a hermit crab stealing somebody else's shell and getting arrested. After the episode ended, Mr. Krabs said that thieves should be locked up forever. Spongebob mentions a barrel that Mr. Krabs stole from a place Mr. Krabs rents his pickles from. Ah, don't mind me. I'm just having water I borrowed from my mom. It's almost done, so I'll just return the bottle when it's empty. Mr. Krabs said he didn't rent the barrel, so Spongebob and Patrick think he stole it and brought up a couple other things he seemingly stole. Mr. Krabs said that he borrowed all those things and said you can borrow anything you want as long as you get it back before it's missed and sent them away from the Krusty Krab. Later that day, Spongebob and Patrick walk through the park debating on what to do before Patrick sees balloons and knows what he wants to do. Me too. Patrick has no money to pay for a balloon, and Spongebob finds out that he has no money either. Patrick decides to borrow the balloon, and Spongebob agrees, remembering it's okay as long as they bring it back later. While the vendor isn't looking, Spongebob grabs a balloon, and he and Patrick excitedly talk about all the shit they can do with it. But unfortunately, the balloon pops, and they start to freak out. After they can't repair the balloon, Spongebob considers confessing, but Patrick says they'll be locked up forever if they do that, so they try to keep it a secret and act normal. They end up drawing a crowd and then run away and see the vendor. They run away again, not hearing the vendor say that it's free balloon day. Spongebob and Patrick run away from Bikini Bottom, believing it's not safe for them to stay there anymore. Later that evening, Spongebob and Patrick look back at Bikini Bottom and walk away with only a few things and then they just leave them behind. Later that night, they were in the middle of nowhere, just resting around a fire. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to say this. Since this show takes place underwater, I refuse to trust any cartoon if it doesn't acknowledge fire underwater. Patrick questions the fire and then it goes out. Oh, thank God. Spongebob and Patrick realize they can't see any of their friends or their favorite things again but they still have each other and realize there are some other positives like bracing the bitter cold, not abiding by society's standards, not flying, talking tough, and not returning anything they borrow. Patrick started to get hungry and Spongebob brought out some rectangles. So did I. Spongebob says they're candy bars. Oh, uh, this is a box. Patrick eats his candy bar, but almost immediately after, he thinks he lost it, not aware that he already consumed it. He soon sees Spongebob holding his own candy bar and thinks that Spongebob stole Patrick's to have it for himself. And no matter how many times Spongebob says that the candy bar he was holding was his own, Patrick still refused to believe him. Even after offering half of his own candy bar, Patrick still didn't want it unless Spongebob admitted he took it. Spongebob started to get agitated with Patrick and decides to eat the candy bar himself. Spongebob kept taunting Patrick by licking and sexualizing it and finally swallows the whole thing. Damn, even I still can't do that. 
Patrick got furious and they started accusing each other of being at fault for why they truly decided to take the balloon. After accidentally restarting the fire, they both decide to report each other to the police and run all the way there. When they arrive, they confess that they both stole the balloon and the police officers decide to put them in a jail cell and two seconds later, they open the bars and reveal that the balloon was stolen on free balloon day. The cops give the friends lollipops to take home, and SpongeBob and Patrick vow to never borrow anything without permission again. Then Patrick eats his lollipop and accuses the others of eating it. They all laughed, but Patrick says he means it, and the episode ends. I don't care what anybody says, but is that all Free Balloon Day is in Bikini Bottom? So that was Life of Crime, and I really liked that episode. I have a lot to say, and this time I know exactly what I want to start with. That being how I always love Spongebob and Patrick talking about all the crazy sh** they can do with the balloon right before it pops. Speaking of crazy sh**, I really like when Spongebob and Patrick list off everything they think Mr. Krabs stole, even playing his lawnmower and Mrs. Puff's hair curlers. I will admit I don't know why Mr. Krabs would bother using the lawnmower of his mortal enemy or how he knows Mrs. Puff before they met in episode 72, Krusty Love. But to be fair, I'm questioning this continuity which isn't the first time I've done so, so I don't know where the hell I'm going with this, so moving on. In terms of just regular jokes, oh mama, there are so many to go through. I love Patrick just holding the air of the balloon, how crazy Spongebob and Patrick act on the street, the scene of Spongebob taunting Patrick with a chocolate bar, and the part where the fire goes out as soon as Patrick questions why it's even happening, just to name a few. It's also funny when Spongebob and Patrick are just asking what to do over and over again before spotting the balloons, and how Spongebob just pulls a rainbow out of nowhere which leads to an empty pot. He really has a knack for that, doesn't he? Some other awesome jokes are when Spongebob jumps off the cliff that appears out of nowhere, Patrick's airhead when he has his tie, and pretty much the entire scene of Spongebob and Patrick talking about how fun being a felon can be, including this guy. Fun fact. The animated face on the bodybuilder right here is the face of animation director Alan Smart, but the voice is provided by none other than Tom Kenny. It's also very sweet that Spongebob and Patrick are always here for each other, which is made very clear throughout this entire scene, which of course goes south when Patrick accuses Spongebob of stealing his candy bar. I could say that Patrick is being an ass here, but I'm only going to complain about it if it truly bothers me, which it doesn't. Patrick being a jerk here is absolutely hilarious, especially because he says, Liar, liar, plants for hire. And we get this shot of his stomach. And besides, he's full. He doesn't need that other candy bar. If Patrick being mean in this episode bothers you that much, then you really need to think about what you're saying. Besides, he and Spongebob get into fights so very often, so of course he'd be mean to him if they're in a fight. And for all the fights they have gotten into throughout the show, this is definitely one of those better moments in my opinion. And even so, there are still so many awesome moments from this episode that you don't even care if Patrick is being a prick. The gags of Patrick trying to carry his entire rock, covering their footsteps with paint, and when he stomps on the logs which restarts the fire are all awesome. And of course, we can't forget the way Spongebob licks the chocolate bar. A little something I always noticed was how the cops in the show at the beginning of this episode look almost exactly the same as the cops shown at the police station. I mean look at this comparison. Am I blind or are the cops immortal in this show? Either way I'm not safe. And the shots of Spongebob and Patrick overlooking the city and walking into the sunset are beautiful. As a whole, I just love how this episode goes. Mr. Krabs talks about how he's borrowing all that stuff, and Spongebob and Patrick take the balloon, and then they later find out that they stole their balloon on free balloon day. Even though Mr. Krabs seems to have stolen all these things, and that will clearly get worse over time, I don't think it's that bad, and I'd say it plays out pretty well here. And Mr. Krabs' reaction is hilarious. Aside from that, I don't really think I have a whole lot more to say about it. I love every joke from this episode, the way the story plays out, and the character moments here. It's an awesome episode that is truly one of the greats of not only season 2, but of the entire series. Life of Crime is a great episode. It has so many hilarious jokes and gags, and the story is awesome. The fight Spongebob and Patrick get into here is really funny, and it's just great seeing Patrick eat all those candies the way he does. It's an all-around good watch. And now that I know the difference between stealing and borrowing, I don't know what to do with this now. Either way, it's December, so I can't return it anyway.